It's a matter of our emotional health, I think. Oh, little Miss Muffet sat on her stuff and eating her birds and weighing. Hey guys, guess what I found? Hair control. <laughs> How you doing? I just put my thermos on the floor. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing wonderfully well and I gotta shut the thing about him fix I didn't want him to fix the squeak. Actually, I didn't mind at all that he did. But it's got a little bit, just a little bit. Put some Vaseline up there again. Oh. Today we're just going to be outside. Well, we're going to be on my porch. And we're not going to work with any clay today. I love them. I know we all love the clay. I don't want to disappoint you. <laughs> but sometimes we need air. Ah. Uh. Time to have him take off a couple of these storm windows. Let the air blow through. It's getting into the really nice spring and summer days. And everybody wants to. You know, a lot of people just want to get out there and just be alive again and there's nothing wrong with that but in some places it's having kind of a negative impact on this vi with this virus cuz you know with store open. I think it's just a matter of really being careful about social distancing and now someone I saw on one video that a place down in Florida had put up a tent outside and spaced their tables and that's smart it's a matter of our emotional health I think except I'm not saying that but it's it's lifts your spirits up it kind of get be a kid again a little bit just do it around your house <laughs> and yeah you can get out now but just keep the social distancing I, I just want to encourage everybody to do take care of your emotional health and do observe caution. Now, for the fun of it all, we're on my porch as I sing in the key of R. <laughs> oh, it does feel so good to be out here. It feels so good. We're getting pizza tonight. Nope, not ordered. Joe's making it. Joe's famous pizza. You know, if he didn't spend so much making it, <laughs> he could make a mint with that pizza. But then it wouldn't be fun for him anymore. Ah, some robins are darting around across the way. Two of them, and they're showing their red breasts right at me. By the time I look at or point you at them, they'll decide to fly off or go somewhere else. Right now, they're just scouring the scouring the grass for a little seed from some weeds or whatever. <sighs> Maybe even some grass clippings. I I have noticed a lot of people turning to crafts, which is great. There's just all kinds of ways to take care of you. And it is nice out. The weather's getting nice. You can go out for a drive. As long as you're not getting up and getting close to where you're breathing in people's faces or coughing in people's faces, wearing masks when you need to, just take it. Be careful. Find a fun way to take care, take care of your emotional health. Do something fun, silly, goofy, weird, like me, every day. 
<laughs> oh, little Miss Muffet sat on her tail. We will survive this. It's a temporary thing. It's sad with all those that we've lost, but it's not been an easy thing to go through. Sometimes that's what gets us stronger afterwards. Uh, okay, I'm going to quit. <laughs> Let's see. I'll tell you a story about my day today. I slept a lot of it. I'm waiting for my pizza. Joe's making pizza. I plan on bringing the plants out this weekend. I don't think, I. hopefully we're not going to get any freeze freeze. Again, it did get cold this week, but it wasn't, it was like the lows during, you know, like the mornings and the evenings with a little bit of up in the afternoon to, I think it was peaking around 40 in some places and 50 in others. And those, that is the coldest it's been this spring. Actually, it broke a few records for, you know, the day couple of days. Now I'm down to talking about the weather. How much worse can I be? Maybe I need to stick to clay. <laughs> there was an old lady in Wymore who didn't know what to go buy for, so she decided to stay and usually hit the hay. Except at night when she stayed up all hours. Okay, I couldn't get the last part to rhyme. I found out that a big part of my leak turned out to be I had I had used that green tubing for a long time, but but it had well quite a while. You use the green tubings a lot longer than anything else, but. It had a split right there. This is a new one. <laughs> we, we got to the point where we didn't worry about the green tubings except for them tangling up. <laughs> because we, we used to just check them and check them and check them, make sure there was no leaks in them. But I've been on it for so long, we just kind of got lax about that. And on, lo and behold, found, a, found about a quarter inch slit right about here. I'm just glad it wasn't anywhere <laughs> farther down, but usually we would have felt it while we were untangling it, but because when you, <laughs> these dumb things, when you walk back and forth across them, they start wrapping around themselves and curling around and kinking and ah, it's a, it's like every day or sometimes twice a day, depending on how long you've been, but you, you just have to stop and untangle it. I've gone as far as getting to the kitten halfway in the kitchen and getting <laughs> yanked back a little and realize, oh no. I was either caught on something or tangled. Most of the time it was in a knot. It, uh, not really a knot. It takes a lot to kink it off to the point where I'm not getting anything. Although it has happened, but that usually makes the concentrator go beep, beep. <laughs> Irritate the heck out of us. Uh, I hope everybody did have a wonderful Mother's Day. I did. Some of them were a little belated, and a lot of that was my fault. Why don't you answer your phone, Mom? So I called back and it's like, Happy Mother's Day, finally! That was my oldest daughter. <laughs> I thought she was really mad at me. <laughs> so we talked for a while and got to laughing. All of a sudden she's like, Mom, I gotta go make supper. <laughs> yeah, life interferes with conversation. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm sitting here rocking this there, swinging, and I'm putting myself back to sleep. Holy cow. You know, usually I do these and then I edit out a whole bunch of it that you never see. The battery's getting low on this, so I better hurry up. Please do subscribe. Click on that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up. And smile and wave at somebody. You sit out on your front step and wave at somebody going by. But just keep it a safe social distance. I love you all. You take care of yourselves. And go have some kind of fun, even if it's at home. Go make a picnic in your back of yard. Pitch a tent. All right, good night.